you're just putting those little feet on the bottom. Keeps it from scratching the floor. At first we were just gonna leave it like it is and then we saw four more little screw things and I'm like, well, what is that for? Then we realized it goes on the bottom. So the instructions for this were okay. Um, the only thing that I did not like is that everything was not labeled. It's, it was fairly easy to figure out just by looking at what it's supposed to look like. But you see here how they have like each of the parts labeled by letter. They have that like that here, but there's no letters on either of the parts. So you just kind of have to look really, really closely to figure out what is what. That was, I think, the most difficult thing, but we figured it out together. And now we're just going to put the drawers in and uh, put the TV and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, y'all, so now <laughs> we are putting um, a new stand slash holder for um, the TV. This TV was, um, it was, he already had it, but the original stand has been misplaced. So we went on Amazon and we looked at the TV model and all that stuff and found um, this little stand on Amazon that's supposed to work out. Shushu, can I see the paper? Thank you. So it's basically like this, and you put it together and then screw it to the back of the TV. And from our measurements and research, it's supposed to fit. So we are going through another set of instructions, <laughs> working on this. Um, his stuff is over here on the right, My, mine is on the left, that way we keep everything separated. But it's also labeled with L and R, so not too, not too bad. So we'll show you what that looks like when we're done. Okay guys, so I am loving this. Now the TV stand looks um, a little, I don't know, aerodynamic, but it works. <laughs> because before that, um, there was no stand for the TV, so this is better than nothing. But y'all look at the little dresser, how cute. And when we decided to get this stuff, we measured the, what well, we didn't measure, but we looked at the measurements of the dresser and the measurements of the bed and it's definitely those the two are eye level and then even if babe can you sit on the bed as an example please <laughs> so even with the tv where it is if someone is sitting there it's nice it's a nice eye level or even if someone is laying there it's nice 
But um, he may also be sitting down. He may play the game. Maybe sit, sit onto the floor on a pillow or something. But I'm just really pleasantly surprised. The one thing that we did is we took off this board from the back of the little dresser. It was right there. If you can remember from earlier. Oh, yes. Thank you, babe. It was right there. But you see the back part of the TV is so long. That's one thing about this. They made this back part so long. It's unnecessarily long. So we just had to take that off to make that fit. But other than that, um, pretty good. So we're going to put together his two little nightstands. Um, put the stuff on his bed. Maybe a little backdrop on his wall. And then we'll be done. Well, <laughs> I'm eating grapes, <laughs> but my husband is putting together the two little nice things. I have a little grayish type of, a faux gray wood feel to it. Oh, wow. I just now realized it matches the floor. Look. Perfect. I wow, didn't know that. I just realized that. I didn't know that, baby. I didn't know. <laughs> That's crazy. <gasps> mm -hmm. Look at the finished work. This one, y'all, didn't require any screws or tools. You oh. just literally. I'll show y'all. He's going to do All the right. other one. Perfect. And we also looked at the dimensions of that because we wanted it to be very comfortable for him to just, you know, reach on the side of the bed. Perfect. Hmm. On the bottom. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna show them how you did the other one. the price of these but they were so inexpensive like so inexpensive i think they look uh more expensive than what they actually cost I feel like this would be better here so that he gets the feeling that Spider-Man is kind of like, you know, all around the room. So right there and then Spider-Man here. So we don't have a lot of Spider-Man decorations as you can see, but with what we do have, um, that's what we're doing. And that towel you saw earlier, that's right here in his bathroom. Right there, hanging up for him to use. He loves Spider-Man, so. And then with these over here, what I wanna do is maybe print out uh, his name and 
color it and put it on the wall and then maybe put these around his name and I think that this that will go above right above his bed so these are so cute some of them look kind of weird like is this supposed to be like baby spider-man or something mm -hmm. yeah with a big head mm -hmm. so I'm looking I'm used to spider-man looking like this and this I guess this is baby spider-man so I don't know if we're gonna use those or not I don't know if it makes a difference, but this is focusing. Okay, yeah. Has a shield. Definitely gonna use this. All right, y'all, so this is what we have. Yo, look at that. Look at Spider-Man on the lights. <laughs> so, I don't know if I told y'all, but this will be his very first time coming to Houston, Texas. Um, so I just, I wanted to make sure that everything felt really, really, you know, good for him. So, and my husband and I, of course, you know, figured out what type of theme he likes the best right now. And he said Spider-Man, so that's why we did all the Spider-Man. But also, um, these are things that he had when he was younger. Um, his little basketball trophies. Uh, this ball was in my husband's truck. So we just kind of put that in here. So he has things that he's familiar with. So he doesn't feel, you know, too scared or overwhelmed being in a completely brand new place for the first time. His little piggy bang that he's had since he was younger. And I do want to put his name you know, across in between these. It's not focusing right now. There we go. So I just put a few little Spider-Man things on the wall. And inshallah, I plan to do a printout and put his name across there and maybe color it. Light blue is one of his favorite colors, so I may do kind of like a, a light blue. I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure that out. So we just put little Spider-Man things so that he can feel like Spider-Man is everywhere, even on the TV. <laughs> even on the restroom door. So this is what it looks like, y'all. All right, y'all. So that is the end. Thanks for watching. Peace, blessings, love, and light. God be with you. Bye.